Have you ever wondered how a tiny pill can deliver just the right dose, dissolve exactly where it should, and work so precisely inside your body? Why do some tablets melt in your mouth, some release slowly over 12 hours, and others only activate in your intestine? Think about this, the next time you pop a pill, you are swallowing decades of pharmaceutical innovation, precision engineering, and life-saving science, all packed in something smaller than a coin. Welcome to Pharma Health Insights, I am Rajesh, and today, we are diving deep into the fascinating world of pharmaceutical tablets, a form of medicine that seems simple but hides incredible science and engineering. This isn't just for pharmacy students or industry pros, if you've ever taken a tablet in your life, this video will open your eyes. Stay with me till the end, because I'll not only break down 14 different types of tablets but also show you how each one is designed, manufactured, and why it's chosen for specific diseases. We'll even discuss future trends like 3D printed and personalized tablets. Let's uncover the pharmacy secrets behind every pill. Why tablets? Tablets make up more than 50% of all pharmaceutical dosage forms. They're easy to produce, cost-effective, stable, and offer high patient compliance. From painkillers to cancer drugs, tablets are used in nearly every therapeutic category. But, they are not one size fits all. The type of tablet you take determines how fast it works, how long it stays in your system, where it's absorbed, and even how it's tolerated by your body. So, what are the main types? Let's break them down one by one, with real-life examples. Let's start with the most basic kind, conventional tablets. These are meant to disintegrate and release the drug immediately after swallowing. The manufacturing includes steps like, granulation, wet or dry, compression using tablet presses. Some common ingredients include, binders, disintegrants, fillers, lubricants. Example, paracetamol 500 mg, aspirin, ibuprofen, key point, fast action, suitable for pain, fever, general infections. Do you know, the tablet press can produce up to 250,000 tablets per hour? Let's now talk about chewable tablets. These are designed to be chewed, not swallowed whole. These are often flavored, ideal for children and elderly. Some examples include, antacids like geluzal and multivitamins. The tablet base contains mannitol, sorbitol for pleasant taste. The main manufacturing difference in these tablets is the lower compression force used. Do you know, the first chewable vitamin was created in the 1960s to encourage kids to take supplements. Have you heard about effervescent tablets? These fizz in water before consumption. The effervescent tablets contain sodium bicarbonate plus acid, citric, tartaric, release carbon dioxide. These tablets are ideal for rapid absorption and gastric comfort. Some examples include, vitamin C 1000 mg, redoxin, ORS tablets. Looking into the manufacturing inside, these tablets require low moisture environment and specialized blister or tube packing. Pro tip, effervescent tablets improve bioavailability by ensuring full dissolution before ingestion. Next in my list are the sublingual and buccal tablets. These are placed under the tongue or in the cheek pouch. They are absorbed directly into the bloodstream, bypass first pass metabolism. Some examples include nitroglycerin for angina, sorbitrate, and ondansetron ODT. The main manufacturing challenge for these tablets is the requirement of a formulation which can give fast disintegration but high stability. These tablets are life saving in emergencies, where every second counts. Here comes the smart tablet, extended or sustained release, SR, A, forms. These are designed to release the drug over an extended period, 8 to 24 hours. These tablets reduce dosing frequency, improves compliance. Some examples, Metformin SR, Diclofenac SR. The manufacturing techniques include, matrix tablets, using polymers like HPMC, coated tablets, film or enteric. The control release technology allow pharma companies to make drugs last longer, improving therapy and convenience. Next, the tablets that wait for the right moment, delayed release or enteric coated tablets. These are coated to resist stomach acid and to dissolve in the intestine. These tablets are used when the drug is acid labile, it causes gastric irritation. Some examples include pantoprazole EC, mesalamine A. 
The coating materials include cellulose acetate pH thalate, cap, HPMC pH thalate. Next are the orally disintegrating tablets also known as ODTs. The ODTs disintegrate quickly on the tongue without water. These are very beneficial for psychiatric, geriatric, or pediatric patients. Some examples include Rasperidone ODT, Ondansetron ODT. The manufacturing process involves lyophilization or special compression. The ODTs are revolution for patients who can't swallow pills. Then we have the layered tablets which contain two or more drugs or two release profiles. Bilayer tablets are common in diabetes, hypertension. Some examples include telmisartan plus hydrochlorothiazide. The manufacturing of layered tablets requires special tablet press with multi-layer tooling. The layered tablets allow pharma companies to combine multiple therapies in one pill while managing drug interactions or stability. Next comes the dispersible tablets. These tablets are dispersed in water before administration. These are excellent for pediatric, geriatric use. Examples of dispersible tablets include, dispersible zinc, amoxicillin DT. These tablets are formulated with fast dissolving excipients. These are particularly popular in low resource settings and pediatric formulations. What if your tablet could float in your stomach like a tiny raft, slowly releasing medicine for hours while staying exactly where it needs to? This isn't sci-fi, it's gastro-retentive technology. These are used to extend drug release time by staying buoyant in the stomach. Examples include, gabapentin GR, metformin GR. The mechanism includes, low-density polymers, gas-generating agents. The major benefit of these tablets is improved absorption of drugs with narrow absorption windows. When a tablet sticks to the inside of your cheek and quietly delivers drugs through your mucosa, without you even noticing, you're witnessing the power of mucoadhesive systems. These tablets are designed to adhere to the mucous membrane and release drug over time. Examples include, myconazole buccal tablets, nifedipine mucoadhesive. The formulation challenge, must balance adhesion with patient comfort. These tablets give a release time, up to 8 hours. Tablets now come in implantable and mucoadhesive buccal forms. These are used for hormone release, chemotherapy, local drug delivery. These are often bioerodible or designed for weeks, months of release. Now, here's a real game changer. Imagine one tablet, hidden inside another. Yes, that's tablet in tablet technology, also called the compression coated tablet. This design allows one drug to be released immediately, and another later, perfect for combination therapies or protecting sensitive ingredients. You might see this in combinations like metformin and glimpiride. Tablet in tablet isn't just clever, it's the future of customized, time-controlled medication. One shell, two smart actions. Let's wrap with a futuristic look. Imagine printing a tablet at your pharmacy, customized with your exact dose, your exact drug combination, and your name on it. The future is already here, and it's printed in layers. A cutting-edge innovation using additive manufacturing. I can give you an example of Spritum, Levitiracetum, first FDA-approved 3D printed tablet. Personalization aspects include, adjusted for weight, genetics, drug interactions. The future scope is, smart tablets, AI-powered formulations. Each tablet is a technological marvel, designed for patient comfort, therapeutic efficiency, and disease specificity. If this video gave you a new appreciation for something as simple as a pill, make sure to like and subscribe to Pharma Health Insights, share it with pharmacy students, doctors, or anyone curious about modern medicine. Until next time, this is Rajesh, reminding you that in pharma, even the smallest tablet holds the power to change lives.